Hello and welcome to my next Let's Play, which is going to be of Devil May Cry 3, Dante's Awakening Special Edition. Now, I'm a huge fan of uh, Devil May Cry 3, wasn't too big of a fan of Devil May Cry 1 or 2, but when Special Edition came out, at that time I lost my Devil May Cry 3. Three, or I traded off or whatever because I just played the ever-loving piss out of it. So I figured at the time, you know, why not get it? You know what? Let's like turbo off because it's traditional. Played this game for so long without turbo. New game, turn off tutorial because I already know how to play the game. I'll go and test where it pops up. Cool thing number one. Hit triangle a bunch of times there. Or square. Or leap, one marks or slashes. Now, I'm only gonna play as Dante because there's You've no difference it, between you? Dante and Bird. The legend of Sparta. Separate when I was young, my father would tell me stories about it. Long ago, in ancient times, a demon rebelled against his own kind for the sake of the human race. With his sword, he shut the portal to the demonic realm and sealed the evil entities off from our human world. Much like the but elves. since he was a demon himself, his power was also trapped on the other side. I never believed it. I thought it was just a child's fairy tale. Much like Santa Claus. But I discovered that this so-called legend wasn't a myth at all. Sparta existed. How do I know? Well, I met the sons of Sparta. Both of them. Though the same blood of their father flowed through their veins, the two battled each other fiercely like arch enemies. It seemed as if they derived some sort of twisted pleasure from this brotherly fighting. So I thought they leave you off with that. Dante, you better pick it up. Whoever's on the other side of the line has shown a lot of patience. Sorry, not open for business yet. I haven't even picked a name for this joint, and I'm already getting calls. Then why haven't you got a secretary yet? You a customer too? <laughs> well, if you want to use the bathroom, help yourself. The toilet's in the back. Is your name Dante, son of Sparta? Where did you hear that? From your brother. He sent this invitation for you. Please, accept it. Table flipping extraordinaire. Invitation, huh? The game is 
over. The end. Or maybe not. This party's getting crazy. Let's rock. Did you put your quarter in? Okay, Dante, you're better than the Fondere. It had better taste of music than him. Okay, so we got our introduction to the main character, and uh, I'm just gonna play through the first two missions right now. Okay, styles. Start a game, you get four. You can unlock more player on. You got trickster, which is your, which is your default one. We're gonna go with swordmaster. You can level all of them up to three. Rogue guard's pretty useless. Gun singer's pretty good. He's got some pretty good moves. Tricksters is pretty good. Swordmaster's pretty good. Okay, quick. Right now we only have one gun and one sword. You can lock more later by you know picking them up or defeating bosses. Items, uh, Vile Star, Healing Items, Holy Water, does mass damage to other enemies. Blue Orb increases your maximum health bar. Yellow Orb uh, gives you a free retry. Double Star I'll get to later. As for actions, uh, these are basically new moves you can unlock. Guns are basically you can uh, level up your own guns. What the fuck? Okay, red orbs. Red orbs are basically mud. If you've ever played the McCry game before. Okay, the first enemy is basically. I didn't like to call him the black creep. They can be killed with three slashes. There's also red reapers, which are obviously tougher than the black ones because one they take more hits and two of their shields uh, are shit. You got you got to be playing with red reapers uh, throughout the game. Black reapers. Not through the entirety of it, there will be a bunch of points where you won't be fighting for any whatsoever. So I wish I had my uh, stinger. 
like, as soon as you beat the first level, block the stand. Because that is probably going to be your most useful uh, move. For, uh, I'm just gonna skip this. Oh, not really. You trashed the place, Dante. Hate to see the freaking cleaning bill on it. You do not step on my pizza. I can already tell. Looks like this is gonna be one hell of a party! <laughs> okay, in the beach level, you'll get rank. Uh, tough. For time, orb, still points damage, and I'm used. It's great, Nadina. Style. Sorry, I'm a little bit under the weather right now. Because I was over at a friend's place uh, not too long ago. And I'm allergic to cats. Plus, he's got like two or three of them inside his house. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is buy a stinger. Because that's the most useful move in the game. Buy a couple of bio stars because that's all we're gonna need. Later on, we're gonna need a uh, uh, bio star else. Uh oh, pack of goons waiting for us. Oh well, they're both <laughs> You guys totally wrecked my shop, and I haven't even named it yet. You're gonna pay for that. So, Dante, how you gonna explain that? I hope you all have enough to cover all this! Okay, and <laughs> he even gives us a free file start! Oh, and also, I can't believe I forgot to mention this over. Well, triangle is uh, just a straight slash, a circle for a dial slash. Squares for your guns. Yeah, I'm not gonna judge you if you like to use your turbo. Like, right Stuff on fights. Oh. I got freaking shield time for Okay, next enemy, the bomb. Uh, shoot him enough to blow up. What I like to do it is address this guy first. Because if you're around him when he explodes, yeah. like you'll take a big damage chunk out of him. 
Here comes the first boss. Giant Reaper. This guy is crazy if he knows patterns. Like, we'll rip him to shred. This guy for a reason is you know an early boss. There's usually three things he'll do. The sweetest scythe at you. Sometimes he'll come out the bottom, which is very easy to figure out. Or uh, he'll go charge me. You made my mom. But we killed him so fast we didn't see any of it. So just keep the aggro on him. Tower of Doom has been pulled out of the ground. It's been nearly a year since we last met. Where does the time go? Okay, that time goes to uh, plan out how to get power. Bias, spy. Too easy. We'll leave him be. No doubt you've got some fun planned for me, right, Virgil? I did pretty good. Okay, the tougher the boss, the more cash you'll get. Thank God I'm not using any items. I come well. Doesn't it excite you? The Timon Negru has revived. The Great One, who once ruled this earth as the medium between the human world and the demon world. Isn't it a magnificent view? The greatest minds of their time, those who revered evil, constructed this glorious edifice. Now, after two millenniums of confinement, it can at last fulfill the purpose for which it was intended. That's none of my concern. Did he have it? Of course. He's taking good care of it. After all, it is the only memento left from the mother you both lost. But he has no idea of its true power.
What a way to treat your minion. I think up to stage five or six, uh, the five star S's are gonna start becoming obsolete. And I'm gonna cut the part off right here, and I'll see you guys later.